So, I mean, an, an insurance adjuster can't be an expert on, on everything. They, you know, they can't be an it's expert true. on window repair and stucco and all of those things. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty easy for a homeowner to get shortchanged, not on purpose most times, just due to lack of training. Yeah. On the well, you and I have discussed this. That's why what I find in the adjustment process, um, I tell a lot of the, the homeowners and property owners that I work with on the commercial side that my job would be unnecessary if they sent out representatives that were always knowledgeable and working in your best interest. They're being coached by carriers trying to limit their claims exposure. And oftentimes what I find is it's more ignorance than it is malfeasance, the low payment and claims. What I mean by that is it's more adjusters who have remedial amounts of training. They're, they're sent out there. They don't really know what's, what's going on. They need to be in Louisiana tomorrow to go take care of whatever just happened there. And then you're dealing with staff and independent adjusters who might just not understand the situation there, especially the staff adjuster who they can't put their fingers on it. They can't feel the damage that's actually there. And I think if they, they could, that there'd be, there'd be fewer disputes in some regards. That happens a lot more often than there's intentional misdeeds and misplays, uh, which is real easy to, con especially as a homeowner who's probably gone through several iterations and those that have succeeded, but they had to bring in multiple professionals to do so, they probably feel a little bit jaded by the insurance process as something that's, that's just not in their favor. And they're not, un they're not incorrect. It's definitely not cited to help overpay claims in any way. So anybody who's trying to get a certain amount of payment is going to run against a certain bit of resistance. And unless you have professionals there to help you through uh, what might just be their professional who just was given a laptop and a van and told to settle claims after a two-day trading course. Uh, that's generally what, we, what I see more often than not.